I'm not completely sure why, but sometimes Jesus leads us down what might be classified as low-lit pathways. These are invitations to follow him in obedience when he doesn't permit us to preview the directions, prioritize our preferences, or provide definitive guarantees. Perhaps this is why scripture defines faith as being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Think of all the people who live by faith. Somehow Abel, Abraham, Sarah, Moses, Rahab, Joshua, David, Daniel, and many others were able to remain on the journey even when the lights were dimmed or completely off. Were they perfect? No. Did they make mistakes? Yeah. But they weren't commended for perfect attendance or straight A's. Rather, they were affirmed for relying on God's promises and seeing past the present moment. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Hebrews 11:13. Following Jesus does not mean 100% visibility 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In fact, as followers, there are greater levels of uncertainty and invisibility than we care to embrace. But faith fuels our resolve to follow Christ even when the limitations of logic and reason fail to see the next step. Faith releases us to follow Christ and lead and acknowledge what he sees as brightest, clearest, and best. So today, anchor your faith in the trustworthy wisdom and compassion and love of Christ.